Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to record a podcast with people in different locations. This has been a problem throughout the ages of podcasting, even in its relatively recent history. How do I get people joining in from different locations, from computers, and more importantly, what if they're on an iPhone? Well, what I'm about to show you will allow you to bring in guests just by sending them a link via computer or their iPhone. So let's have a look. It's Riverside FM, and they've actually got really decent pricing plans as well, uh, starting from the basic for just two hours a month, right the way up to Pro and Enterprise for 15 hours plus per month. And of course, the best thing about Riverside FM, in my opinion, is they do high quality audio and high quality video recordings, not like some of the other well-known online conferencing apps. This is focusing very specifically on audio and video quality. So let's take a look at the app and how it works. Now, if you start it for the first time, you'd need to create a new studio, which is where you do your show from. Uh, so it can be an audio only podcast or audio and video. You can even invite participants from this screen and give your studio a title. Well, I've already done that. I've got the Music Radio Creative Studio here ready to go. And when I'm ready to start inviting my guests, I can go to the recording studio. It will then come up with a screen where I type in my name. I can say I'm not using headphones or in this case being pro, I am using headphones. But if you're not, it gives a really handy echo cancellation. So you wouldn't get so much feedback if they're listening over their speakers. So I'm using headphones and then I can join in my studio. And this is where you get a nice little link that you can copy and you can assign different roles. So it could be a guest, a producer, or even an audience member that joins in with the show as well. And you can see by the number indicated at the top left, how many people are actually in on your show live. So I could copy that and send it off, or I can just click invite by email and send that straight to my guest. First of all, we'll have a little play with recording Isabella, my guest, on the computer. Okay, here is Isabella. I'm going to hit start recording. And now it's recording. So, Isabella, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Mike. Okay, that's all very well. But what about recording someone who doesn't have a computer and wants to do a quick interview with you on the move? Well, Riverside FM are the first online platform to introduce a really slick integrated iPhone app. And we're going to test it out now. You can essentially log in using a link that's sent to you, join in via your iPhone. This is going to make the overall audio and video quality much better. And let's look at how Isabella might join using her iPhone. She clicks a link, types in her name, clicks to join in, and we're away. Okay, here is Isabella on her mobile. This is your iPhone, Isabella. Hello. Hello, Mike. Well, I have to say already, even over the internet call, your audio is sounding better and your your visual, visually, you're looking much better than you were on your okay. computer's internal camera. So a really high quality experience, especially when you compare it to desktop. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. The one thing to make sure of when the iPhone app finishes recording from your guest side is that they don't kill the app. They can leave it, but don't close it down, as in the background it will upload that high quality audio and video when you're finished. And you have the ability to go in and get any recordings that have already been completed uh, in high quality WAV, which is super handy. So you can drag them into your audio editor of choice and sync up the files and mix down your final podcast episode. Note that Riverside FM syncs up tracks on their servers for audio only. They're provided as WAV files. And if you're working with audio and video, they're constant frame rate MP4. And here is how some of those recordings would look if you drag them into Adobe Audition. And there you can see you've got, of course, the host on one side. You've got the guest on the other side. You can do edits and cuts as you would expect to do in an audio editor of choice. And then finally, upload it as your finished podcast for your listeners to consume. And if you want to take the stress out of it and not use an audio editor, you can actually use the magic editor that allows you to do some basic composing right here with video and audio. So when I've added some of these things here, I can actually choose to filter out background noise and normalize the game. That means keep all the audio levels the same volume. 
go to next and then I can work on my video. I can fill the tracks to the entire screen, which looks rather good. And also customize with a logo and a background if there's any black space in the background as well. Once I've done that, I can export it. I can give the file a name and choose the export quality and easily download the stitched together tracks. So overall, I'm really impressed with Riverside FM. The audio and video quality is excellent. You have so many customizable features in there. Not only can you record on a computer, but you can now get your guests to use their iPhone to join in and upgrade the audio experience all around with a better microphone via the iPhone. It's absolutely amazing. First app I know of to actually introduce a native iPhone app that does the recording for anyone, anywhere. If you're looking to record guests and multiple people remotely, Riverside FM is a brilliant solution and you'll find my link to check out Riverside FM in the description down below.